Yeah, it lays eggs, then the tap door comes, then after that, the other frog comes. Okay. What do you mean by uh, fetus? Fetus. 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 But I have not revised the chapter after a long time. We are meeting and we, we have not learned the concept. Na. What do you mean by zygote? Zygote is a fertilized egg. Okay. What are the parts of sperm? Uh, yeah, middle piece, head, and tail. Okay. See, in case of hands, internal fertilization take place. Yeah, I told you, no? You told about external fertilization. In hands, you told external fertilization. Oh, shit. I got confused, I think, so that time. Okay. okay. Even you can... So, after embryo, fetus develops, okay? After embryo, fetus development takes place. Yes. In last class, where I finished up? Mm. Can, uh, you have finished up to... Can you go down a bit? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you so, finished up to viviparous and oviparous animals. I not discussed no. young one. Metamorphosis also you have done. Asexual reproduction I have to do. Yeah. So far, we have learned about reproduction in some family animals. We have done, uh, we have studied reproduction in case of hands. In also, we have seen how reproduction take takes place in case of the, or how in fact reproduction happens in case of frog. That we have discussed. Now the next time point comes. Uh, what do you mean by asexual reproduction? Which are the organisms which are reproducing through this mode of reproduction? Okay. These are the very minute organisms like amoeba or the hydra. What happens? Only single parents give rise to the next progeny. As have in case of the hydra, only one parent is involved. Not the. As we observe in this diagram, in the hydra there is a one bud is arising, and from this bud, from this bud, hydra matures further, and a young hydra grows up on the parent hydra. Once this is grown up, this get cut off from the parent body and new hydra is formed. Okay. So like this? this like the yeah, big one this, thrown? Yeah, see, this is the parent hydra. From this a bud arises. This is known as bud. This is this structure is bud. Okay. And then this, from this bud, this bud grows in size like this way. Then this growth happens more. And it appears like the parent one. Okay, you cannot differentiate between this hydra and this hydra. This one is small, this one is big. After this, once it has grown up to a certain size, it will break up from the parent body. Yes. Okay. Okay. Once it breaks up from the parent body, once it breaks up from the parent body, new hydra arises. New hydra and that will grow. And that, that will grow again. And that, that will, will again to give rise size. to this. Yeah. Okay. And that will become big. Then after that, a new bud will come. Like that, the process goes on. Yeah, this is budding in the hydra. Yes. Okay. I have seen budding in yeast also. Okay. And as we see, yes, in that also budding happens. As we have seen, there is only single parent. Single yeah. parent is involved in this one. So this is asexual because both sexes, there is no male and no female. Only one sex is involved. That's why this is known as asexual reproduction. Yes. Since new individuals develop from the birds in the hydra, this type of the asexual reproduction is called budding. Okay, okay. I heard this term. Understood. What do you mean by budding? Yes. When the new bud develops from the in the hydra, 
and again a new organism is taking place taking birth that is known as body yes okay, okay. then a uh, next concept comes budding in the uh, sorry how the fission happens in amoeba so we have discussed budding in the hydra can you explain how budding takes place how budding takes place i'm asking have you understood yeah. how budding takes place in hydra so write down a question note down okay. one question in assignment form how budding takes place in hydra how budding takes place in hydra explain with the diagram explain with the diagram done see this is the body and this was the budding let's see what is the, what is the meaning of fission f i double s i o n what fission fission f i double s i o n fission yeah are you mean fusion okay fusion okay 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 i understood what happens in case of amoeba amoeba is a irregular shaped of microorganism okay yes and it is having in the center a nucleus, nucleus like not true nucleus but a uh, genetic material is there that genetic material first of all that genetic material start to divide and it is called dividing nucleus it start to divide up in two parts okay yes and once it start to divide up then the body of this amoeba also start to bifurcate like this way once the nucleus has divided completely this body also start to bifurcate like this way as shown in this diagram okay, okay. and after that it after that to divide yeah after that this bifurcation this becomes complete and there are the two daughter amoeba means from the one amoeba two daughter amoeba has taken place those have arisen from the single amoeba yes understood understood yes okay so this type of mode of reproduction is also asexual reproduction okay yes. and this is known as binary fission why the binary fission because from one parent two daughters are taking place okay from one parents two daughters are 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 arising so that's why this is called binary fission binary means two fission means dividing yes okay okay understood yes i understood then comes so this is called binary fission when the an single animal divides into two that is known as binary fission apart from that there is multiple fission also multiple fission also that is not given in your book okay what happens in case of the malarial parasite a single cell nucleus starts to divide on and that is formed multinucleate yes okay and then each nucleus develops its cells around its okay and this main parent cell bifurcates and give rise to the numerous parasites mirozoites means see you just remember in case of multiple fission let me show you with the diagram also in case of multiple fission in binary fission only two parent daughters are arising okay but in multiple fission what happens multiple multiple daughter cells no. are ar arising yes okay in that one multiple daughter cells are arising let me uh, share you my screen with you okay i'm sharing the screen after okay. that you will be able to get the idea uh oh screen share is there na no? 
See, can you observe this diagram? Which one? This one. Yeah. Yeah, I can. In in this, there is a nucleus you can observe. Cell is there. Okay. Yes. Then in this cell, multiple cells have been shown. Okay. Yes, I can see it. In and this one also multiple fusion is there in the plasmodium. Okay. These cells yes. are known as cyjoint and these are known as myrozoites, which I was. This telling. is uh, yeah. there in my uh, syllabus. Uh, that is not in given in your syllabus now, but yes, you can uh, see for uh, you can learn for your information. The higher classes, it will be coming more at a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So just remember. I wrote a question. Yeah. I wrote a question in the chat box. What is there? Okay, because our body temperature is more, and uh, sperm formation need lower temperatures. That's why they are outside the body so that the temperature of the of the testes can be lowered down. That can be kept at the low temperature. And then the body temperature so that the sperm formation happens at a suitable rate. Okay. Nishu. Nishu. So why it's so sensitive? Sorry? Why it is so sensitive? Uh, that That is uh, what in terms of the sensitive in terms of what? Means uh, like yesterday on day I got a hurt. Like it pains so much that I like just fall down. Why? Okay. Because uh, see, uh, the organ is very delicate one. Okay. And uh, there is no uh, such protective layer outside them. Uh, only a mass of the, you can say certain mass is there. Okay. Very less muscles are there. Okay. We are not getting hurt when we get pinch up like this on our hand because we are having mm. muscles and bones. Okay. But mm. in that particular part, the formation is very delicate one. That's why if we get um, hurt on that particular part, we get so much pain. Yes. Understood. Okay. Then comes. So this was the about the asexual reproduction. So have you understood what is the meaning of asexual reproduction? Yes, I understood. What is tell me? Asexual reproduction, no? Yeah. Don't 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 do Google searching, please. I'm not I'm not doing then tell me. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, please tell me. Please tell me what is asexual reproduction? You do a lot of Google search, I know, during the class also. Even I can no. read your from your face, I can read when you are doing the Google search and when you are paying attention on my words. Please tell me what is asexual reproduction? Um, asexual, asexual yeah. reproduction. This is called. Tell me. You are not paying attention what I am saying now. <laughs> and I, I catch you in each and every class. After that, also you are not. Not uh, changing your attitude, beta. Huh? <laughs> you cannot be fool me, beta, because tell me what is asexual reproduction. From the past ten minutes, I was teaching you what is asexual reproduction. Tell me. Without the application of, of that, there's a the reproduction in which only. One parent takes place. Okay. And what happens in case of good? Asexual reproduction is that type of the reproduction in which only one parent is involved. Can you tell yes. me? Can you tell me uh, how budding happens in Hydra? First, the small bud comes out of the Hydra. After it, it, it grows. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Then after that it grows. Then after that it when it's grow when its growth is full, it separates from the parent hydra and it reproduces again. Good. 
well very good shabas both then tell me how uh, how asexual reproduction happens in case of amoeba uh first there be just amoeba then the the then it will be a dividing nucleus then they yes. start dividing the nucleus and then after that uh it starts separating its body and then new amoeba will come but it will be joined then after some time it will get detached and it will be daughter amoeba yeah well fine okay and what do you mean by multiple fission multiple fission i did not do anything please tell me then tell multiple me please fission. in multiple I fission i understand i didn't understand that actually no oh, not an issue i am explaining you again that is acceptable what happens a single cell is there in case of plasmodium listen yeah a single Please. cell is there and in that single cell in that one also only multiple cells are formed multiple cells are formed yes okay then this parent cell will break down and these all multiple cells will behave like the individual daughter cell individual okay. daughter cell yeah because we have started from a single cell from that single cell multiple cells got arisen so that is known as multiple fission yes and fission means dividing or something which is bifurcating binary means to get bifurcated in two multiple means to get bifurcated in multiples yes okay understood have you understood yeah. okay then let me give you certain more points on which is the extra information which is given in your book okay see there is a uh, one okay story of the dolly the clone what is the meaning of the clone uh clone clone means something when we are creating a copy of the an organism that is known as clone if i make a copy of myself the same person like me that will be called as clone so yes. and the process which is involved in this one that is known as cloning so what is cloning cloning is basically the production of an exact copy of a cell or any living thing or an living organism if i create yes. if i create an person same like the person the same of the body features as you are having that will be called as your clone yes understood so this was first time performed by the ian wilmot very important name ian wilmot and his colleagues they created such a clone and that clone was of the sip of the sip okay and that sip was named as dolly that was named as what was the name given to that sip uh, can you tell me what was the name given to that one dolly dolly okay just give me a second just someone is there hello yes aaj sir ji main abhi class mein hu aap baad mein baat kijiyega theek hai ya dusre number pe call kar lijiye aap 7:30 ke baad kijiye theek hai theek 7:30 ke baad kar lijiye main kara theek hai okay sorry for disturbance so how this clone came into existence 
this was basically created in the lab conditions by using two parents okay and this was the first mammal to be cloned which was the yes. first mammal to be cloned that was the dolly yes okay how it happened let us see how it happened how this dolly came into existence this process were known as cloning <coughs> a cell was collected a cell was taken from the mammary gland of this female fin okay this yes. female dorset ship is there from that from the mammary glands of this one okay one cell was isolated okay okay then simultaneously an egg was obtained from this ew then an egg was taken from this body from this animal's yes. body yes okay? okay then what happened some disturbance is coming from background then nucleus was removed nucleus was removed from the egg okay what happened nucleus was removed who is please in background your side is there some something please ask them that we are getting disturbed if you can manage is yeah, some wait. relatives are there wait please ask them yes okay see what happens this uh, cell was taken out from this the uh, fin okay from this a mammary gland was taken out and simultaneously one egg was taken out from this one okay okay uh, this much you have understood then what happened yeah. this nucleus was removed from this one this from this cell this nucleus was removed okay and then this nucleus was transferred okay then this see the um, you be considered in the class little bit that will be a little bit of the confuse, confuse, confusing one from this we have taken memory gland okay and from this we have taken what what we have taken taken the egg and the memory yeah, gland and egg memory gland memory what does it mean and memory glands uh, from where uh, a person give um, a uh, living organism gives milk that is known as memory gland yes okay okay then this nucleus of this memory gland of fin dorset ship was inserted into the egg of scottish black blackface eve yes what was done the nucleus of memory gland was taken out and that was inserted into this scottish egg yes what is having let me take the help of the one white bow on one hand we are having one organism another we are having another one okay we have isolated nucleus of this memory gland okay and apart from that there was a nucleus of this one what we do we isolated both the nucleus we isolated this yes. nucleus also we isolated this nucleus also yes okay okay this was taken from scottish and this was taken from fin yes okay in the next point what is being said that they say we took we transferred this nucleus this nucleus of the red color we have which we we have isolated that was transferred to this egg yes okay egg, egg of what this Scottish. nucleus the egg has been transferred to the no the the nucleus has transferred to the egg yeah and the egg nucleus has been removed okay this my story is clear to you yes so tell me repeat what we have discussed up to here yeah oh my sorry. god yes sorry, sorry, sorry. i am yeah. boring you no then tell me what i have told you had said me about the sheep 
called Dali. Hmm. Correct. Yeah. That time, uh, they she got cloned by the two sheep called Finn Dorset sheep and yes. Black Dorset Eve something. Hmm. Then See. after that. Tell me what we did then. Then we had taken the egg from the Scottish Eve and and one cell from the Finn Dorset sheep and the nucleus from the cell was removed and it was entered into the egg of the Scottish sheep. Is that much? Okay, well understood. Well fine. See what happened. We have taken nucleus of this Finn Dorset into the inserted into the egg of this Scottish yeah. black sheep, black face Eve. Then this egg this egg was reinserted into the body of from which organism we have taken egg from which organism the the fin dorset sheep no 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 the scottish black face e in that one this egg was reinserted in, into the body of this scottish black black face e Okay. But yes, what we have made the change? What change has been made? What change has been made? The the nucleus has been entered into the egg. Which nucleus? Nucleus of what? Of the cell. Of the? Cell. Self? Cell, cell. Cell of which, which organism cell? Fin, dorset, sheep. Finn Dorset said, see, now once this egg was inserted into the, this Scottish blackface eel, what they found, the next progeny, once they took the birth, that organism, that dolly, that was given the name of the dolly, that was having the characters like the Finn Dorset. Yeah. Why so? Okay. Why? Why it happened? What what did you say? This young one, Dolly, which took birth from this Scottish blackface Eve, yeah. but that was having the characters of Finn Dorset. None of the characters of Scottish black blackface Eve came into the this Dolly, though she has taken the birth from this Scottish blackface Eve. All the characters yeah. were of the Finn Dorset. Why it is so? Because the nucleus because of the nucleus so information for the progeny is there in the nucleus only understood yes okay and this why this ship is called as clone of the fin dorset okay Understood? Yes. So, like this way, this is the process by which we create multiple copies of a single organism. We create multiple copies of a single organism. Okay? In this way, we create multiple copies of a single organism. Hello? Hello. Namaskar, sir. Hello. Sir, I am doing something very important. Okay, 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 I am doing Internet got it lost. No, I just managed to quickly press the refresh button. 
okay not an issue so have you understood what is the meaning of cloning and how it is done yes i understood but why but why did it happen so it happened so because characters are controlled by the nucleus not the cytoplasm the scottish blackface ew though it was having the egg of the blackish uh, the scottish ew was uh, egg was taken but nucleus was of the fin dorset nucleus was of the fin dorsets that why this dolly was having the characters of the fin dorset not of the scottish blackface you we'll write down yeah. one question what do you mean by cloning okay wait a minute what do you mean by cloning wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> yes done should i start speaking yeah you can what do you mean by cloning what do you mean by cloning explain it with the help of an example done done for what have you written yes i have written next question you write okay what do you mean by asexual reproduction then how many question i have given you three how many are you going to give sorry how many are you going to give <laughs> see how many questions have been there can you repeat one is there about but, but how the wedding takes place in hydra explain with diagram then how what do you mean by cloning then what do you mean by asexual reproduction and in cloning you you have written a explain with the help of example okay in cloning right explain with the help of example then okay written yes. then write how how asexual reproduction happens in case of amoeba then then yes then okay then you tell me have you ever heard about in vitro fert uh, have you heard about the test tube babies ah uh, yeah i just i just when i was in the first term i was just feeling boring that time i have read that test tube okay. babies what do you mean by test tube babies then what you got from that like the test tube babies at the egg is freshly taken okay then after that it, um, the 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 women which don't have the ability to reproduce babies because of some disease or something because of that they introduce that egg into the uh Called uterus. Then after that, that egg. Uh, uh, I know only that much. Yeah, yeah. After that, that egg will be developed into the uh, zygote, and the normal process will take place, and then the baby will be will take the birth. Okay. Yes. So, so when we are doing the when we are carrying out fertilization in the test tube, and once the baby is taking birth, 
then such type of the process is uh, such type of the babies are known as test tube babies and this yes. process is in vitro fertilization because artificially we are carrying out the fertilization not the natural process okay have you understood yes okay so with this we have completed this chapter any other thing you think that we need to cover or which you find uh, which you are not able to solve is there any such information any such question in your no. mind no okay Why? okay so i have completed this chapter with what what is the next yes from my from my side this chapter is complete any other information which you would like to carry on no no uh, seriously the test tube babies look like they are so minute actually no no the, after the uh, once they are grown they will be like the same as we are looking na once yeah, they take the but, birth uh, that uh, they they are very small and says they can be looked by us see what is the meaning of test tube baby test tube baby means only the fertilization is taking place in the test tube the rest of the process is the same as the in case of human beings yeah but uh, when while we take the egg we can see that egg properly Uh, no that will that have to be done at the laboratory conditions not uh, by the naked eye no but we can see that baby in the very very small time no that baby will be in the mother's uterus na through the ultrasound technology you can see okay once they take the birth the every baby is very small na hmm okay Okay, size of every baby okay. is very small. Understood. So now you.